Good day, children. As you all know, my name is MOG. I hear children shouting MOG, MOG, MOG. I'm here to encourage you to try to study online. This time of the pandemic that we are all staying at home now, we need something to keep us busy. And oftentimes, parents are worried that we are just sitting at home doing nothing. So the school has designed this online teaching to help our children at home so that somebody will be you know, keeping their time. Above all, I know that you little children, you are always happy when it is Christmas. You see everybody want to celebrate Christmas. Everybody want to enjoy the gift of Christmas. Parents buy clothes for us, buy shoes, and give us a lot of gifts. Unfortunately, I don't have a Christmas tree yet. We all have Christmas tree in our house. We decorate our houses. And then I want to ask you, children, who can tell me the reason why we celebrate Christmas? I know we all know why we celebrate Christmas. It's about the birth of a man called Jesus Christ. And I'm going to tell you about the birth of Jesus Christ. How Jesus Christ was born, why he was born, where he was born, who happens to be the father, the mother of Jesus Christ. And I know you all also know that when Jesus was born, he was presented with three gifts by three wise men, shepherds, who saw this, who saw the, the star somewhere, and when they interpreted it, they knew that a new king had been born. And better still, there's an angel who came to this woman who was living in Galilee, came to this woman and told this woman, you know, you are going to give them to a child, and that child is going to be called Jesus Christ. But do you know the irony of it all? This woman wasn't married yet. He was betrothed to a man. That, is, that means he was engaged to a man that he was going to get married to. And that man is called Joseph. And the angel also went to this man, Joseph, and told the man that Mary was going to have a child and going to conceive of the Holy Spirit, that he shouldn't worry himself. So at this time they were living, in a Roman city, and the king there, uh, you know, the, the emperor of the Roman Empire, you know, uh, Augustus, gave a decree that every building should be counted in the region, and everybody should go to their place of birth where they came from. So it was mandated, it became incident on Joseph to go to his uh, fatherland, which is uh, Galilee. Galilee, in Galilee, there is a place known as Nazareth. That's his birthplace. When they got there, the wife was heavy with the baby. And because they were counting, they were going to count uh, the people, the census, you know, that was to take place. The whole hotels were filled up. There was no place for them to lodge. So they finally ended up in a stable. A stable is a place where they keep animals. And there, Jesus was given birth to he was laid in a manger. And the funny thing about this whole thing is that the angels were rejoicing and singing. The stars in the sky revealed something. And these three wise men, the sheep keeper, the, 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 the shepherd, saw this amazing thing. And when they saw it, they were amazed and they inquired. It was told them, told to them that you know a new king had been born, king of the Jews that would save the whole world. And they insisted that they must go and worship and bow down to this thing. And they started led them to the place where, you know, Jesus was born. When they got there, they narrated their outing to the mother of Jesus Christ and the people that were around. And they brought her gifts, gold, Francis Kerr, and Mel, which were given to Jesus Christ as a gift. The gold signifies royalty. That showed that Jesus was a king. And Francis Kerr also signifies, you know, that Jesus was to cut. And uh, Francis Kerr, as it were, showed that Jesus should be worshipped, that Jesus is a God. He said, deity, simply put. Deity is something that people worship. That we should worship Jesus Christ. Through him, we'll be able to reach the Father God who created the heavens and the earth. And the male is an expensive and good oil. 
that is made to anoint his body after death, which means Jesus has come to this world to die for the sins of everybody. And with this little thing, I think I've led you into how Jesus was born. You know, how uh, you know, they presented uh, him with gifts. And after staying there for a little while, the angel also came and said to Joseph that he must take the, the, mother, the child and the mother to Egypt because people are after his life. And you know, they went to Egypt. When they got to Egypt, they were there for a little while. So the people that sought after the child's life, after they died, the angel appeared to Joseph again and said they must go back to their place. They returned back to Nazareth, where Jesus was born. That is the beautiful story of Jesus Christ. And I know, if I sit with a lot of my children tomorrow and ask them questions where Jesus was born, somebody will be able to tell me that Jesus was born in Nazareth. And that's better than him. There. Okay, so like I said before, Jesus Christ was born in Bethlehem. And they returned back to Bethlehem. And that was how Jesus, you know, was put together. And I know my children, if I ask you questions where Jesus was born, somebody will be able to come up and tell me that Jesus was born in Bethlehem. And if I ask you where Joseph is from, you will be able to also tell me that Joseph is from Nazareth. And who is the father of Jesus? I know little children there will be able to tell me that Joseph was the father of Jesus. He is the earthly father of Jesus. And if I may also ask, can you tell me who the mother of Jesus is? Yes, everybody's going to pop up and say, Mary is the mother of Jesus. So, so many things. Who brought the story about the birth of Jesus Christ to Mary and Joseph? Was an angel. I know you all know that. And so I ask, how many gifts were brought to Jesus when he was born? I know people are going to raise up their hands and say, one, two, and three. He was given three gifts. Gold, fantasy, and milk. I've already told you what they all represent. That the gold represents his authority as a king. And the Francisca also represent his authority as a deity. That's somebody that must be worshipped. And the male, like it is, is an oil for anointing of his body after death, which means Jesus Christ came to this world to die for the sins of all. And above all, who was the king that sought after the life of uh, Jesus? It's Herod, the king. And who gave him a proclamation that Every child should be everybody should be counted in in the Roman Empire. King Augustus. So I'm sure you all know that. So see I come back to give you the notes. Bye for Nigeria. Emoji. Emoji. Emoji.